Guess what, you guys? We are taking crafting to the next level. I'm Jamie, the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, I am so excited about today's video. We are going to be talking about the all new Glowforge Aura. Not only am I gonna be sharing with you all of the great things that you can do with this, but we're going to do not one, not two, but three projects and they are all beginner friendly projects. And I cannot wait to show you and tell you about my new Glowforge. Now the Glowforge Aura is the first ever craft laser from Glowforge, the maker of the best selling desktop lasers. Now the Glowforge Aura will empower hundreds of thousands of crafters like you to unleash your creativity. Now what sets Glowforge apart? Well, many things. First and foremost, your creative possibilities are going to be absolutely endless because there are hundreds of materials that you can use in your Glowforge Aura. And when I say hundreds, I mean it. There are high quality materials like leather, acrylic, various types of wood, and even heat transfer iron-on materials and veneers. It is crazy how much this Glowforge Aura can do. Now, all of the proof grade materials are smart coded sheets that automatically adjust your Glowforge settings for quick and easy setup and perfect results. The custom protective masking ensures a sharp, clean prints, and they are designed specifically to be laser ready for your Glowforge Aura. And with Aura Vision, you are going to get a preview of your design on your materials before you even hit the print button. The onboard camera is perfect for aligning all of these intricate engravings and carvings and things that you're going to do. There's literally no more guesswork, just precision and perfection. It's that easy. Now you may be wondering about the setup for the Glowforge. Well, I can personally tell you that I went from unboxing to creating in about 30 minutes. Now, the Glowforge Aura is going to come with simple and easy to use instructions. And not only are they going to walk you through the whole setup process, but you're also going to be walked through the first design project. You are going to absolutely love it. Now, you will want to make sure that your Glowforge Aura is properly ventilated. This can be done through a window or with a personal Glowforge filter which is going to connect your Glowforge Aura so you can create from any room that you choose and it's going to surpass the gold standard in filtration pairing with HEPA and it is advanced carbon technology to purify the air and eliminate the need for a window vent if you choose. Now, Glowforge Premium is an optional upgrade to the free Glowforge print software that offers a range of benefits to really enhance your creativity and your efficiency. Now, the Glowforge Premium and the Glowforge Catalog offer access to new designs, features and tools and provide robust creativity, including Magic Canvas, which is going to allow you to design something from scratch. Now, if that's not really your thing, you are able to access a Glowforge catalog, which features customizable and ready to print designs. And the best thing about this is you can customize any of these designs with logos, text, photographs, and even JPEGs, which is really, really cool. And that's what I did for some of my projects today. Now, what's really, really cool also is that a large amount of these designs are created by makers like you and I, and they are paid for every single download or every single purchase that you make. That is collaboration and creativity all rolled up into one. Now the Glowforge Aura is designed to be user-friendly and is suitable for both experienced designers and aspiring makers who want to start printing right away. There is endless creativity and there is really no hassle. I promise you it is really that easy. So now that you've watched me talk about projects, let's make more projects together. And now for this next project, we are going to go into the Glowforge catalog and we are going to select from all of the different designs. I selected beginner because I'm still kind of learning my Glowforge and I have to tell you, look at these designs for beginners. This is crazy. Now I did have a particular idea. I kind of wanted like a cheese board or a cutting board. So I went into the search bar. I typed in cheese board, cutting board, and these are the designs that came up. Now I really 
really loved this cheese board. I also loved this one. This is probably going to be my next project, but check this out. If you are a premium member, which I am, this design is free and you can put this directly into your Glowforge. Now go ahead and load your materials up first because you obviously want to do that. That way the Glowforge will recognize the material that you're going to use. And again, you can have this product placement perfectly on your board. Now, this is where you can get creative. You can play with the sizing, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Any of that text area, I can change, I can update that. I could remove the center that says cheese and put my name or my company name on there if I wanted to. The possibilities, again, are endless. And this is really up to your own creativity. You can add text, you can add logos, you can add pictures, you can do JPEGs. Again, this is where it is fun. This is where you get to be creative and where you get to have a lot of fun. Now, you are just going to go to the print function and your Glowforge is gonna take over from there. Now, this project, project because it was a little more intricate, this did take almost three hours to do. However, this was an easy three hours because I could walk away. I literally stayed in the same room, of course, where my Glowforge is because you don't wanna leave it attended, unattended, but it did all the work. It did all the work. I was able to sit down at my desk, get some work done while this was going and cutting and going through the process. This is such a cool process. It is really, really cool to sit here and just watch the Glowforge do its work. Now, as you can see, as this design is getting more and more detailed, your design is really starting to come to life and you can actually see how big my design is. Now, this is my favorite part. This is where the cutting is happening. Now, see that label that's overlapping there where the um, QR code is? Don't even worry about that because it's not even gonna affect your design. Now, your machine is going to prompt you when it's ready for you to take your design out and uh, yeah, as you can see, I did nothing. I really did nothing. I didn't have to poke it. I didn't have to prod it. Literally, my cheese board is done. Now, the only thing that I do have to do is remove this protective film. Again, this is going to come on all of your Glowforge materials, and this is going to help that laser. It's going to help with sharp edges. It's going to help with laser cutting. It's going to help with cutting your actual... Uh, project. It's going to help with design. It's going to help with everything. And it is liter literally just as easy as peeling away a sticker. Now, I took mine in my kitchen and I oiled it down with some butcher's block oil. I love this so, so much. Now, the next project I wanted to do something a little fun, a little silly. Again, I was just browsing through all of these designs. There's so many different designs. And I kind of thought something to kind of honor Mr. Otis and to be fun here in the craft room could be really fun to do. And they had this really cute cat ornament hanger. Now, again, play around with the size, make this as big or as small as you want it. Now, the sheets of the proof grade materials are 12 by 12. So you've got a lot of space to work with. I didn't quite want mine to be quite that big, so I went ahead and sized it to where I thought it was gonna be good and let the machine cut it out. Now, because I did mine on acrylic versus wood, I wanted to kind of emphasize some of these cuts in here, and I just did that with a little bit of black paint. And as you can see, this ornament hanger is so, so cute. Look at this on my bookshelf. I am obsessed with this, but if you guys know me, then you know, of course, I'm even more obsessed with my little buddy, Mr. Otis. He does not like his picture taken. Check this out. I call him my little golden nugget for a reason. This is something that I'm sure he's going to want to play with. Look at Mr. Otis as a baby, by the way. Look how cute he is. I really love this, and there is so much you can do with your Glowforge aura. All right, you guys, I am absolutely blown away. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Glow Forge Aura. 
I am freaking out because it is so, so cool. Now, if you want to check out the Glowforge Aura for yourself, there is a link in my description box. Please go check it out. It is so, so cool. There is going to be endless creative opportunities here. And uh, I'm looking forward to using this sucker many, many more times in some upcoming videos for you guys. All right, everybody. Thank you again so, so much for being a subscriber. I really appreciate you being here. And I look forward to bringing you more DIY content very, very soon. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.